So just to make it feel like another appearance, Steven Cruz doesn't come out of the dugout. He comes out of the bullpen, making his seventh appearance and second start as an opener. Cruz has walked back to back Guardians, and this is how you get yourself into a heap of trouble. Here's Josh Naylor. And now down he goes on a fastball at 97. And now Ramon Laureano. Back to Cruz. So he pulls it together after the two walks. Cleveland strands two and no score to the bottom of the first. Well, Logan Allen will be our starting pitcher tonight for the Guardians. Logan making his 24 start, his record 500, 7 and 7. Uh, two starts against Kansas City on the year. He's 0 and 1 with a 338. So he's going to come back. This should be a good ballpark for him to pitch in here. On the ground to third, Ramirez bare hands at the bag and throws it away. And now it rolls up the line rather than ricocheting to Naylor, and that's an easy advance for Michael Garcia. So Bobby Witt Jr. off the end of the bat, and that's going to be down. Garcia hesitated, and he's held at third, and that was the right call. Quan made a good toss to home plate and a nice long hop for Naylor, and the Royals have runners at first and third and nobody out. Here's MJ Melendez, left on left. Oh, he got him picked at first. Naylor looks to third, throw back there, they got him. Garcia with a terrible <laughs> base running mistake. Wow. And yeah, that's out number one. I'll tell you what, uh, wow. that's two mistakes here in the first inning. And Witt got picked off, and he was just going to go straight to second, but Josh Naylor saw that he came off third base and made the right move. MJ, right field and deep. Back goes Brennan. It is gone. How's that for bragging rights? MJ with home run number 15 against one of his best friends. He's going to remember this one for a long time. And it's a 2 0 Kansas City lead. Bases empty, two down, 2 0 Kansas City. Velasquez steps in. And a high fly ball. Laureano, the center fielder, will make the catch. One out, one on, 2 0 Royals, third inning. Ramon Laureano tapped to the mound his first time up. Fastball sliced, shallow left field. Melendez sprints in, comes on strong, slides, makes the catch. A nice grab by MJ Melendez. And Laureano's out, two gone. Here's Andre Simenez, struck out looking his first time up. Shallow left, another chance for MJ. This time he stays on his feet. He had all three putouts. Runners at the corners. Bobby Witt Jr., the batter, the 1-0. And he sends a smash to short on one hop field of Iarius to second one. He menace turns two and Isbell stayed at third. Isbell didn't know if that ball could be caught. A screaming one hopper to short that spun around Arias on the backhand. And it was hit so hard they still had time to turn two. Wow. What a play by Arias. And now a runner at third, two down. Here's MJ Melendez. And a base hit left field. And the Royals lead 3 0 with MJ driving in all three against his childhood buddy. So it's Melendez at third, Olivares at second, Velasquez at first, and Nick Lofton at the plate. 3 0 Royals in the third. And now Lofton bounces one over the mound. Arias doesn't field it cleanly, and the Royals will get another run. So a one out base runner in scoring position for Jose Ramirez. Line right to the right fielder, and the ball is dropped by Velasquez. Quad will go to third, Jose goes to second base. See how it scored. I think they give him a double, only because it didn't look routine. Guardians have had some opportunities tonight. They have a huge one here. Second and third, Josh Naylor at the plate. And there you go. A ball single up the middle for That's what Josh I'm Naylor. About. That'll drive in two. He's got 93 runs batted in now on the year, and the Guardians cut the lead in half. It's four to two. Last month. And there's a double play ground ball to short. And the Royals turn it. Cleveland is one for ten tonight with runners on, but they get two to cut the deficit in half. The Royals have first and third, nobody down. And that brings up Nelson Velasquez. Through Naylor and into right field. Royals get one run back. Olivares goes to third. So the leadoff walk turns into a run, and now we'll see how they score that hard hit ground ball by Naylor. Yeah, it looks like that's going to go for an error. Royals lead it 5 to 2. Nick Lofton stands in against the hard throw on righty. First and third, nobody down. Soft liner, center field. That will drop, and Lofton has another hit. He has another RBI. 
And the Royals have another run, and they've gotten both runs back after Cleveland scored two in the top of the fifth inning. And it's going to be Cropley, the rookie catcher, who's 0 for 2. They're going to bring the infield in with second and third, one down. Center field. Loriano gets behind it. He has a strong arm. He'll play it to third. So Cropley doesn't get his first big league hit, but he gets his first big league RBI. And the Royals have their biggest lead of the night. Two out, two on, seven to two Royals. Top of the order, Stephen Kwan, the pitch. Kwan sends one high and deep to right. On the run is Velasquez, still going back. Track near the wall. It's off the base of the wall. That'll clear him. On his way to third is Quan with a stand-up triple as Jimenez and Naylor both score. And Stephen Quan with a two-run triple to right center. And Cleveland trails at 7-4. to four. Here's Andre Jimenez, one for three. There's a drive up the alley. This is good for the Guardians. It gets down and goes to the wall. Calhoun scores. Jimenez racing around second. He'll go all the way to third. And that's his fifth triple of the year. And then the ball caroms away, but it sort of pinballs back toward home plate, and Jimenez cannot score. But it draws the Guardians to within two runs now at 7-5 to five on the two-out RBI triple by Jimenez. Two outs. Top of the seventh inning. Already one run in for the Guardians. Gabriel Arias bats a right-handed hitter. Arias grounds it out to Bobby Witt Jr. And that is the inning. So Cleveland gets just one. The eighth inning, 7-5 to five Royals. The number nine hitter, Bo Naylor, the pitch. And Naylor with a high drive, deep right field. Back goes Velasquez. Back, track, wall, gone! Bo Naylor, a solo home run to right. That's home run number nine for Naylor and now it's a one run game seven to six the two two to Calhoun straight three call he guessed something other than a fastball runners at second and third two down still it's seven to six Royals infield backs up here's Ramon Laureano well circle a big K on your scorecard James MacArthur Cropley 0 for 2 drove in a run with a sack fly his last time up Cropley hits one into right center field, and that's down for his first big league hit. And the swing goes wild. His wife Taylor up there, his seven-month-old son Trey, his parents, his in-laws. Tyler Cropley, dreams do come true, son. Now there are two out. The batter is Arias, right-handed hitter. Very high to left field. MJ Melendez started it tonight with a two-run home run in the bottom of the first inning, and he brings it down for the final out. 